All right, I figured it's a good time since the engine's already out. Um, camshaft sensors, people always have your camshaft sensors go out. So if you're looking for where they're at, they're on the very back of this engine, right here and right here. So when you get the cam sensor code, which I forget what it is, I'll put down in the description, this is where you have to go to replace it. So here's the front of the motor, just like this. On the very back side, you're gonna reach behind just a 10 millimeter. Crack it to the left. That's it, that's how easy it is to replace a cam sensor. And just take it out just simple like this. And then your camshaft slides out. Camshaft sensor, I should say. They look just like this. So the one that's on the passenger side does not have the angle in it. As you can tell, this one's nice and straight. When you pull this one out, it actually has an angle on it. You'll be able to see here. I'm almost done here. So whenever you guys go to the dealership and they charge you $500 to replace this sensor, you could see how easy it is to do yourself. This is really as easy as it gets. And then the sensor comes out just like this. And see how it's kind of got a little angle to it. And this is on the driver's side. So it just goes back in the hole just like that. So these are very common on the VQ to go out, the cam sensors right here. And if you didn't know, these cam sensors do not come with a warranty at all from Nissan. So if you buy these from Advance or O'Reilly's, they come with a lifetime warranty, that's what I do. So they're only 50 bucks. And when they go out, they're completely free to replace. You just have to put the sensor in the back of the motor, which I just showed you how to do. And it's very easy to do. So even though I showed you right here where the cam sensors are, here's exactly what it'll look like under your motor on the back side. So if I could hold the light at the same time, that little green one right there is the angled one that I just showed you on the driver's side. And then the other bright green one is right there. So there's the other cam sensor. So with the plenium and everything attached, that's what it'll look like. Um, you're able to reach this one with your hand from behind. This one's a little hard to do. Uh, you kind of got to remove the throttle body to be able to gain access to it because it's right there. It's really hard to get to. It's super easy, obviously, right here because it's unhooked from the engine. And there's the other one. So I was hoping that gives a better visual so when you're trying to pull out these camshaft sensors yourself, it's always easier if you can picture exactly where they're at. So again, right there is the one on the driver's side, that one. And then the one on the passenger side is that green one right there. So Hope that little video helped you guys on replacing your cam sensors. Obviously, it's a lot easier with the motor out than it is with it in the car, because when you're in the car, you kind of have to feel back behind here like this to guess where they're at. You can use a little light. There's one, and there is the other. All right, so that'll do it for that video on cam your cam sensor replacement. Hope that helped you guys. See you next video.